Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, in the lecture of African literature. So today we are again going to discuss about uh, the work of uh, Ben Okri, the famished road. In the previous lecture, we uh, discussed about the blend of Yoruba culture and uh, uh, magical realism uh, in the in the famished road. That uh, how he used uh, the magical the technique of magical realism uh, uh, and uh, blended this technique with the Yoruban culture and the traditions as well as with history and uh, of Nigeria and the politics of Nigeria. So today in this lecture uh, we are going uh, to talk about uh, the magical realism like uh, in the previous year lectures uh, we do uh, you know uh, have a talk like uh, the, uh, Ben Okri has used the technique of the magical realism but what exactly magical realism is. So, in the previous three lectures about uh, the famish road, we didn't, dis didn't discuss about the magical realism, rather we uh, uh, like mentioned the magical realism many a times. So, what exactly magical realism is and uh, uh, how he has used this uh, technique in the, uh, the famish road. What is magical realism? Magical realism basically a uh, literary genre, and uh, that was uh, uh, you know uh, arose in the middle of the 20th century uh, as a tool of decolonization. So, uh, like magical realism, it is uh, characterized by uh, two conflicting uh, perspectives. One is based on the rational view of the uh, world or the re or the reality, and the other is the acceptance of the supernatural or as a prosaic reality. So, it, uh, this uh, genre it encountered the realistic and uh, naturalistic trends that were prevalent in the uh, English literary canon to open the door for a genre that is grounded in the cultures of the colonies and uh, uh, former colonies of the empire. Uh, unlike the materialistic and uh, realistic trends of the mainstream, magical realism it has combined the myth, the fantastic and the native traditions and uh, it differs uh, from pure fantasy because uh, it is uh, set in a normal uh, modern world with authentic descriptions of human and society. But it aims to seize the uh, paradox of the union uh, of opposites for instance like uh, it challenges the binary opposition because it is, is uh, using the supernatural element and the reality side by side parallel use of both uh, the opposites. So, it does challenge the binary opposition like life and death and the pre-colonial past uh, versus the post-industrial present. So, um, according to uh, Angel Floors magical realism involves the uh, you know uh, the fusion of the real and the fantastic or as he claims that uh, an amalgamation of the reality and fantasy so the presence of the supernatural in the magical realism uh, is often connected to the prim uh, uh, you know primal or uh, the magical native mentality and uh, which exists in, uh, in opposition to european rationality in uh, uh, one of the previous lectures, we also uh, we uh, um, uh, mentioned this thing that uh, the uh, the Europeans uh, uh, they purely based on the reasons, while the uh, uh, while the other nations they uh, do mix their emotions with the reasons. For example, uh, uh, as uh, um, in the uh, a passage to India. So it is the uh, passage to India is the clear example of this. The uh, like uh, the uh, the the Europeans they are based uh, their thinking is based always based on rationality and they are more focused towards the raw jo raw logics and the rationality. Uh, so 
magical realism basically it is uh, a expression of the new world uh, reality uh, which at once combines the rational elements of the european super civilization uh, and the irrational elements of primitive america so magical realism offers basically offers a world view that is not based on natural or uh, physical laws and, and neither does it based on uh, you know the objective reality so the fictional world is not separated from the reality either so that is the uh, small talk of the magical realism so the background uh, is that uh, this term it was first introduced by the franz ro who is a german critic and uh, who considered magical realism as uh, an art category uh, for him it was a way of uh, representing and uh, responding to reality and uh, pictorially depicting the enigmas of reality so in latin america Uh, in 1940s uh, magical realism uh, was a way to express the realistic american mentality uh, as it uh, it started in uh, latin american uh, so uh, and create an uh, autonomous style of literature so magical realism yet uh, as it was started uh, from there but yet uh, magical realism is not confused to latin american literature alone for many latin american writers have influenced the writers around the world uh, uh, for example the indian writer the saman rushdie and the nigerian uh, uh, poet and the uh, writer uh, ben okri uh, whose work we are dis- uh, going to discuss and uh, there is the colombian novelist uh, gabriel garcia marquez and the british novelist An- angela carter so uh, these are the you know uh, namely selected works uh, of the people of the uh, writer uh, who were influenced by this uh, genre the magical realism and uh, who used uh, this uh, uh, like uh, you know in in their works basically it uh, as we dis- uh, as i told uh, that uh, it is a genre that uh, combines the myth fantasy and the reality amalgamation of both uh, things and uh, it does challenge uh, the binary opposition so uh, to move further uh, we can um, see that like uh, it does have different characteristics the ma- you know, what kind of works uh, we can say that uh, this work can fall in the category of uh, magical realism first characteristics of the uh, works of the magical realism is the hybridity hybridity basically is the a mixture of uh, uh, something uh, or uh, and uh, in the perspective in um, sorry uh, in which context uh, we often talk about uh, hybridity is the uh, the hybrid culture hybrid nations hybrid language uh, so uh, this uh, as uh, the magical realism a, it uh, you know a, it is used as the weapon of decolonization and so hybridity is the primary feature of for uh, magical realism and uh, the magical realist uh, yeah, they incorporate many techniques that have been the, um, linked to the post colonialism so um, that is why the hybridity is a primary feature and um, uh, magical realism is uh, uh, illustrated in the inharmonious arenas of such opposites as uh, urban uh, urban and rural uh, westerns and indigenous or native so the plots of the magical realist works they involve issues of uh, the borders uh, the map mixing and change uh, or the amalgamation of cultures or the nation so uh, these authors um, uh, like uh, uh, they establish a plot to reveal uh, cru- crucial purpose of magical realism like uh, a more deep and the true reality uh, that uh, then then conventional realist technique would in illustrate 
so the, by uh, the use of the magical realism they uh, uh, does create a project reality but uh, there is always uh, uh, the notion or the hint of the uh, uh, rational uh, reality uh, or the rational view of reality uh, and uh, uh, they uh, uh, you know put the, the uh, magical uh, use the magical realism um, in order to Oh, uh, uh, you know, uh, in all, uh, sorry. In order to move away from the conventional uh, use or the con, uh, uh, in order to move away uh, uh, from the uh, you know uh, the conventional uh, techniques or the use of the conventional techniques. So the Ban Okri is the first uh, the Nigerian writer who used this technique in his work. So the second one is the irony regarding author's perspective. The writer they must have uh, ironic distance from the magical uh, world uh, view for uh, for the realism not to be you know compromised. So the writer uh, he must strongly respect the magic or else the magic dissolves into oh simple uh, folk belief or complete uh, fantasy uh, like split from the real instead of. Uh, yeah, synchronized with it. Uh, so it, it is also a major uh, feature. Like uh, in order to, in order to, uh, sorry about the interruption. So in order to, uh, you know, uh, um, keep oneself uh, aware that. Uh, or uh, uh, that uh, he has to use the reality side by the fantasy uh, so they have to uh, keep this thing the author uh, he has to keep this thing in mind uh, so uh, and it is very important that uh, he has to uh, you know uh, uh, checking or uh, uh, keeping the things parallel like the uh, uh, fantasy uh, or the uh, reality. So the term magic, uh, it relates to the fact that the point of view uh, that the text depicts uh, is not uh, adopted according to the um, implied word view of the author. Uh, uh, rather, the act of uh, uh, distancing oneself from the beliefs held by a certain social group makes it impossible uh, to be thought of uh, as a representative of that uh, society so it is the like uh, uh, the writer he, uh, he must have uh, ironic distance you know uh, from the magical uh, view word, word view or the uh, for, uh, for the realism not to be compromised so then comes the authorial reticence a reticence basically we call it uh, 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 the uh, the path meaning or the literary meaning of the reticence and so is avoidance of uh, uh, saying too much like being aware of uh, uh, you know uh, disclosing not so much so the uh, thorough reticence uh, refers to the lack of clear opinions about the accuracy of the events uh, and uh, the credibility of the world views expressed by the characters in the text so this technique it promotes acceptance in the magical realism basically and uh, in magical realism the simple act of explaining the supernatural uh, would uh, eradicate its presence of equality uh, regarding uh, you know a person's conventional view of reality uh, because it would be uh, like uh, it would be less uh, valid then and the supernatural word would be uh, discarded or as a, a false testimony testimony sorry then comes the uh, supernatural and natural in uh, magical realism the supernatural is uh, not uh, displayed as questionable uh, because uh, it is the amalgamation of both the um, magic um, uh, fantasy and the uh, prosaic reality and the rational reality basically. So while the reader realizes that uh, the rational and irrational are opposite and uh, uh, conflicting uh, plateaus. Uh, they are uh, just uh, uh, like uh, the not uh, 
you know uh, uh, did, uh, what should i say like uh, disconcerted because uh the supernatural uh, is integrated within the norms of uh, perception of the narrator and the characters in the fictional world uh because uh, the writer he creates a fictional world and uh, he puts the elements of the fine, uh, sorry the reality your uh, notions of reality in that fictional world and he also puts the supernatural elements in the fictional world on the basis of the uh, uh mythical beliefs uh, or the traditional or the cultural beliefs so the next uh, one is uh, irreducible uh, element of magic so these uh, the characteristic i'm going to discuss now these are basically the uh, presented uh, by the professor or uh, uh, dr wendy f varis um Uh, according to the faris uh, a irreducible element of the magic it basically the magical realism combines the realism and the fantastic in such a way that uh, the uh, like uh, the um, you know the magical elements they grow organically out of the reality portrayed so the text contains in the uh, this the irreducible element of magic and something we cannot explain according to the laws of the universe as we know them so in terms of the text uh, uh, um, uh, magical things really do happen so according to the text next one is the uh, strong presence of the phenomenal world so uh, first there should be uh, the uh, you know uh, the uh, things uh that uh, uh, the, uh that are rooted in the reality but uh, the magical things they uh, re- they do happen in the text Next, second one is the presence of the phenomenal world so this is the description details basically um uh, the uh, details uh, of when we read uh, any story uh, there is always the mention the day the date the place the setting of the area uh, the the whole atmosphere uh, for example if they are talking about uh, the author is talking about a particular room uh, he'll pr- he or she will present the whole aura of the uh, room that uh, uh, we can sense that uh, this that thing really exist so uh, they uh, they uh, describe the minor details and uh, this thing it uh, leads to the presence of the phenomenal world and uh, this is the realism in magical realism basically distinguishing it uh, from much fantasy and allegory uh, so realistic descriptions they create a fictional world uh that resemble the one we live in so uh, in many instances by the excessive use of the detail and uh, everyone every writer every artist they do such things uh, in order to create the realistic elements in the work so the next one is the contradictory understandings of the event uh in the text these are the characteristics uh, we are talking about uh, the text which are uh, which these things are present uh the reader they may hesitate at one point or another between the uh, two contradictory understandings of events like um, and uh, hence experiences uh, the some they are somewhat unsettling or, uh, or they uh, create often uh, the create doubts often hallucination or the miracle like uh, the things that the story unfolds itself in a way that uh, the reader he may get confused he may uh, get the uh, uh, contradictory understanding um, like uh, uh, of of the experiences of the characters it may create doubts it may create hallucination or uh, uh, like uh, it may create doubts in the mind of the reader like um, uh, if this thing is really happened uh like uh, if the thing uh, that is the being discussed in the text is it really happening or it is just uh, you know the hallucination of the character so um, the next one is the merging of two realms the realms that um, uh, we are uh, aware of uh, uh they they read the experience the re, uh, they experience the closeness or near the merging merging of the two realms the, the two worlds basically uh life and that 
real or imagery uh, waking and dream past future human animal self another etc the magical realist the vian uh, um, the vian exist at uh, uh, the intersection of two worlds like uh, at an imaginary point inside a, a double sided mirror that reflects in both direction uh, and uh, in the ban architects will get to know how they do present the two realms side by side so the next comes the uh, received ideas ideas about uh, time space and identity magical realism to these fucking f- uh, fictions uh, uh, in which uh, we can uh, find the magical realism these fictions they question the received ideas about uh, uh, the time space and identity like uh, uh there is a uh, writer the fredrick jamson uh, uh says on the realism like how realism creates uh, special homogeneity abolishes uh, older forms of sacred space likewise the newly merging clock and uh, measurable routine replace uh, older forms of ritual sacred or cyclical time like cyclic time the uh, the rise of industrialization to till the modern work world of work there are many other characteristics of uh, uh, magical realism uh, like uh, you know the meta fictional dimensions and um, the verbal magic uh, or um, a closing gap between words uh, and the world then there is um, uh, like uh, uh, the narrative uh, in which appear the narrative appear as the you know fresh child like or the primitive or old so there is a repetition uh, you know and uh, there there is a metamorphosis and um, antibiotic uh, critic and uh, then uh, there are the, the you know mysterious sense of collective relatedness so these are the um, the uh, the characteristic that i didn't mention here because they are the secondary characteristics like common but not defining so the, the these characteristics that uh, uh, that are mentioned there these are these are the important one and uh, Uh, these uh, characteristics they does categorize any fictional work into the uh, um, magic uh, into the category of the magical realism so there are uh, um, uh, what kind of themes uh, do the magical realist follow terror time carnivalesk these three are the themes that are most often present in the, um, the you know in the works of the magical realist uh, the idea of terror it all runs the possibility of re- uh, regeneration in the magical realism and uh, the uh, several uh, authoritarian figures uh, such as the soldiers the police the sadist or even the ghost in uh, in the matter or uh, you know in the of if we talk about the uh, banokri uh and those the authoritarian figures they have the power to torture and kill so time uh, is an uh, uh, other conspic- uh, conspicuous theme uh, which is frequently displayed as a cyclical instead of linear Uh, in most often in most work the that time is often in linear or, or in the chronological order or uh, in the uh, flashbacks or flash forward order but uh, in this uh, uh, in the uh, the works of the magical realist it is in the cyclic manner like uh, one what happens once is destined to um, you know, happen again so the characters uh, uh like uh, they ever rarely uh, realize the promise of a better life you know so as a result uh, irony and the paradox this is uh, rooted uh, in the social and political uh, aspirations and uh, uh, the one other uh, the uh, complex theme in the magical realism is the carnivalesk carnivalesk is a carnival's uh, reflection in literature and uh, what is carnival 
the concept of the carnival it celebrates basically the body the senses and the relationship between humans it refers to the uh, cultural manifestation they take place in uh, different uh, related forms in uh, north and south america europe and caribbean and often including the language and dress as well as the presence of mad man f- fool or a clown so these are the uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, cultural manifestations so in addition people they organize and participate in dance music or theater in latin american uh, re- uh, magical realist uh, they explore the uh, bright light affirming side of the carnivalesque so the reality of uh, revolution and uh, continual uh, political upheaval in certain part of of the world they also relate to the, um, the magical realism specifically south america is uh, uh, characterized by the endless struggle for political ideal there are many example the uh, the uh, as i told you about the angela carter the gabriel garcia marquez then the ban okri and the, there was one other so uh, these uh, the works of these writer they does fall in the category of uh, uh, magical realism now moving on to the uh, the real magical realism in the famish road let's discuss like uh, magical realism is realism it uh, radically modifies and uh, uh, replenishes the dominant mode of realism in the west and it just challenges the basis of the representation for me them so that destabilization of a uh, Uh, dominant form means that uh, uh, it has uh, served as a particular effective decolonization uh, uh, decolonizing agent uh, that was the reason the writers they were consciously using fantastical elements and myth to counter the uh, colonial grand narratives and uh, establish a trend that uh, represents the cultural background of the colonized countries so the magical uh, uh, realism the works they have uh, different characteristics and uh, uh, the characteristics we are going to discuss in the um, you know, famish road uh, uh, in the uh, these are the characteristics five characteristics that we are going to discuss in the uh, famish road first one is the irreducible element of magic this uh, element uh, like it cannot this irreducible element cannot be eliminated or, or neither assimilated into the realistic narrative so but remains as a uh, you know as a uh, grain of sand uh, in the oyster uh, uh, of that realism basically and uh, in okri the famish road the element of magic is not only irredu- irreducible but uh, Uh, it forms the main bulk of the work actually otherwise the novel uh, wouldn't have been mm, conceived or the conceivable uh, and the the novel uh, it chronicles the life of the child azaru and a bhikkhu spirit uh, or spirit child between the real world uh, in an unnamed village and uh, the world of spirits so from the beginning of the text we can uh, see that uh, he was struggling with his life uh, uh, and uh, 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 he was uh, moving back and forth in the two worlds so as the uh, main or the as a protagonist uh, uh, is a magical figure uh, so are the uh, continuous lines of events throughout the novel for example he describes the um, uh, kingdom of the spirit children as uh, as the as our king uh, was a wonderful personage who sometimes appeared in the form of a great cat he had a red beard and eyes of greenish sapphire he had been born uncountable times and was a legend in all words known by a hundred different names that is how he uh, uh, azaru he described uh, the spirit word uh, in the uh, in the text 
so the after getting hired uh, to uh, assist the, the uh, madam khoto in uh, running her bar he sees people uh, whose strange features are uh, just jumbled up or distorted uh and uh, the whole material uh, uh botanical and the animal existence is fused into uh, one that is magical with the wind speaking and the in- insects uh the continuously eyeing him and the animals are dealt with as if they are ordinary human beings so these are the happenings that, um, that was uh, the, uh, th- that were taking place in the text uh, he has to face uh, when he started working at the mod- madam khoto's Koto- bar uh, he could uh, see the many uh, 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 many uh, uh, people uh, with strange features and some are like so strange that uh, they uh, feel kind of gross gross and uh, like uh, he has to deal with the wind and uh, the insects even and uh, uh, as if and with animals as if they are than ordinary human beings so uh, the next element that uh, we can uh, see uh, in the famish road is the uh, strong presence of uh, uh, phenomenal world and what kind of phenomenal world uh, the ban okri depicted in order to give the uh, uh, in order to uh, create realism in his work uh, the f- uh, the phenomenal word as i told earlier that uh, uh, this word is described in details to make it seem realistic so the phenomenal word of the famish road is very ch- ch- tangible word of uh, want desire poverty and sufferings okri uses uh, magical realism um, uh, to uh, criticize the uh, uh, politics or the political uh, factions uh, um, in nigeria in the novel uh, they are given two opposing names the rich party and the party of the poor so the villagers they keep arguing about uh, which side would uh, bring about change but the incident of uh, distributing rotten milk to who the impoverished electra- uh, electorate uh, smashes their dro- dream so this is a scene which is very much rooted in reality as the politicians they make empty promises in an offer to win votes as the the party one of the party they distributed the ro- uh, rotten milk in order to get the uh vote in order to seek the other uh, the waters of the other party so they this these are the happenings they uh, do take place in the real life and um, moreover the injustice and the brutality of the uh, legal and the police system are evident in the riots here when uh, the uh, when the people they uh, rose against the parties uh, and because of this uh, um, uh, the incident of the rotten milk uh, he describes an attack by the police on his neighborhood because they ruined the landlord's house the landlord he hurried away and returned an hour later with three policemen they fell on us and flogged us with whips and cracked our skulls with batons we fought them back we beat them with sticks and ropes we tore their colonial uniforms and sent them packing colonial word is quite important here he uses the term colonial which makes the phenomenal word as the as real as possible so the you can uh, see the uh, use of the uh, uh, language uh, it does create the phenomenal word also in uh, apart from the setting the uh, the uh, language plays an important role and uh, the use of the colonial uh, word it does give this uh, 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 f- uh, like uh, the notion of the reality and uh, one can imagine that uh, uh, one can say that he might be talking about the the uh, white people 
uh, we use the colonial uniforms or he might be talking about the police native or indigenous people so uh, such things these things are uh, these things they create uh, the notions of reality in the f f fantastical world the next element is uh, contradictory or uh, contradiction in understanding uh, the reader may experience some doubts when uh, trying to reconcile the contradictory understanding of events uh, the reader uh, wonders if what is happening is a dream hallucination or a miracle depending on each individual's individual belief so in the uh, in the text these things are not clear uh, while reading a text one can get confused if this is happening uh, in real or uh, this has happened in real or uh, this is the the hallucination only or uh, it any kind of miracle what is what exactly is happening so it does create the contradiction in the minds of the readers so the azaru he keeps falling asleep and falling into hallucinatory episodes and uh, he keeps getting carried away into the woods either by chance or against his will when he assists uh, madam kuto in the bar and keeps a uh, sink people whose features are jumbled up and uh, uh, bizarre the readers have doubts about uh, how reliable azaru is whether he sink is the reality or hallucination so um the uh, madam kuto bar is not a positive place and when he, he uh, joined the bar to assist her he, he sees many kind of people and one can get confused easily that if he is representing the reality or he is just getting hallucinated what uh, what is uh, like uh, if he is seeing the ghost of there or uh, if he is uh, like uh, depicting the picture of the real people so this doubt increases uh, when azaru finds out very late that uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, like um, they are not people but spirits so it is impossible to distinguish dreams from reality for example azaru says that as i lay there moving in and out of uh, sleep and um, uh, uh, like uh, I'm moving in and out of dreams loud new, new voices crackled from the street the voices were so magnified that I wondered what sort of human beings produced them I couldn't hear what they said I felt I was imagining them that they were another manifestation of the spirits so the uh, since the Azaru he himself has fused dream reality and imagination imagination and hallucination the reader has the same doubts so that because of such uh, happenings or such incidents that uh, they uh, the author uh, 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 put in them or the author create is these things they create contradiction in the understanding of the reader and uh, this thing even create uh, it also uh, created the contradiction in the mind of the protagonist of the text uh, uh, the famished road so the next uh, we can see is the merging of two realms the how this uh, like uh, the 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 magical realist the the most the uh, fantastic and the real uh, together to form an in between world or in between realm so in the famish road azaru's in between is clear in uh, in betweenness is clear uh, that uh, he is a spirit child living on the edges of the two worlds his village and the world of the abiku and keeps oscillating between them and he didn't want to be born into the material world so as not to suffer hunger sickness and pain so in this uh, in between a world the real life of nigeria where people drink palm wine ogoro goro and pepper soup is mingled with the land where people come in all shapes and sizes walk backwards 
and had feet on their heads and children with three arms. So, for Azaru, uh, the call of the other spirit children represent a life of worry and full of promise of comfort and wealth. The reality of life uh, uh, in his compound in, in the village is the exact opposite of this promise. You know, the promise of comfort and the wealth, uh, free of tension, free of worry life. So, their call resembles the uh, uh, like uh, the western dream of living in a civilized and developed world as opposed to life in Nigeria. So, it reflects the, uh, the in-betweenness which Okri feels having lived his life between what on Nigeria and the UK. So, the merging of the two realms, this is also, uh, you know, depiction of uh, the autobiographical element here. As uh, the, uh, the merging of the two realms, uh, whether uh, it is the fantastic word or the, uh, the real word, it does create confusion. It does create tension, pain and sickness and it does not give a player or comfort or uh, the world as uh, the people as a, uh, the authoritarian figures the promise. So, uh, uh, being uh, part of the uh, uh, two nations, uh, Okri have also felt such, uh, 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 such kind of amalgamation as uh, he is also the Nigerian and uh, uh, we also have an English identity. Next characteristic that is uh, present in the famished road is uh, the notion of uh, time, space and identity. The magical realist, uh, realism, it subverts the uh, received idea about the time, space and identity like uh, as the characters they witness the fantastical uh, events and uh, see magical beings in their heads or uh, in front of their eyes as the multiplicity of the narration begins to emerge you know, for example the uh, azaru's dad dad azaru himself madam kutu these are the character who does see the uh, mm, uh, the you know uh, ma magical beings so, time and space in uh, uh, the famished road, they are very fluid. The novel begins even before Azaru is born into this world and the uh, fluidity of identity is also evident uh, when the narration shifts between the I of Azaru and the V of the spirit children. Azaru says, when I was very young, I had a clear memory of my life stretching to other lives. There were no distinctions. Sometimes I seem to be living several lives at once. Conventional conception of time, space and identity are shattered in more than one ways. So, in one instant, he loses his way in the forest and uh, uh, encountered an other version of himself. Like uh, what seems to be a short stroll and is narrated briefly turns out to be few days as when he returns home. He finds out he has been missing for days and according to and uh, he thinks he uh, he went for a walk for a short uh, period of time. So, that is how the the magical realist they use the uh, time space and identity. They basically one can say that they do not stick with the unities of time space and identity. So, in order to conclude, um, we can say that the magical realism, it does combine the real with the fantastic and the magical. So, it combines the opposites of myth and uh, history, the pre-colonial and the post-colonial basically. So, therefore, it also creates um, uh, the third word which has essentially been a reaction against uh, the realistic trends uh, prevalent in the western literary text. So, uh, now to sum up this lecture, in this lecture we talked about uh, the uh, magical realism that uh, what is the magical realism and how Ben Okri has used the magical realism in his work, I will like uh, how we can uh, uh, categorize his work as the magical realism.
we discussed about uh, the uh, uh, characteristics of the magical realism and uh, some themes of the magical realism those characteristics and the theme, the, those are present in the works of the magical realist and uh, the presence of those features uh, it uh, validates uh, the genre of the uh, uh, these works so for now it is all and i have also put references from you, uh, where you can get uh, more data and uh, from where i have collected data and uh, these are the uh, references uh, maximum five references are here so for now it is all thank you so much for your patience and stay blessed